this is not a sponsored video. Trust me, I tried to reach out to them, they didn't answer back, but I bought this with my own money. What's going on everybody and welcome to an outdoor reviews, a series which I didn't really think through and it's super hot outside. There's vehicles driving by. I don't have a lot of room in my office, but I decided I'm gonna do an unboxing of my new keyboard, which I already have three of. Not only do I have one of these keyboards, not only do I have two, I have three of these keyboards. The first keyboard, I spilled milk all over it. The second keyboard, I spilled a Starbucks drink all over it. So this is my third keyboard because the keys got a little bit sticky. We're gonna unbox it with this carabin knife, which I got many months ago and I never used them. Oh, dude, it's not sharp at all. Luckily, there's not many things to cut and I should be just fine. In the box, we get the keyboard, some paperwork, and this rest at the bottom, and that's it. Why do I like this keyboard? Well, it's got Cherry MX switches. And in case you can't tell, it's a short keyboard. It doesn't have the keypad. I think it's called a 10-less keyboard. You see a lot of pro players put their keyboards at 90 degrees angle or whatnot, flipping it all around just so they can have more space for the mouse. Well, for me, I don't need to put it at any angle because this is short enough that I can have my mouse here and not have to put it in any weird angle. The keyboard is very basic. You don't have extra buttons. You have a light button here, which selects the level of the light, mute, volume down, volume up, and you can lock your Windows key. What I do while I'm streaming is I remap these buttons. I put this one to play pause, next song, and previous song because I don't have to adjust the volume of the song ever on Spotify. For streamers, one thing that might be an issue is the sound of the keyboard, which can can be quite loud and that's why for every keyboard that I get I do one thing I take a lesson from Beyonce and I put a ring around it these are called o-rings that I got from Amazon I think they're like six or seven bucks but they will make the keyboard a lot quieter let's just do a test right now my microphone is right here this is just a keyboard I'm just gonna type a little bit What we're gonna do right now is you can do it even by hand. You can just simply pull out one key, but it does sort of start hurting your fingers after a while. You can just pull them out by hand. I got this thing for like $1.30 and simply click and just drag them out. The only problem that I have is sometimes I don't remember how to put them back. I'm gonna do one row at a time. Simply take an O-ring, just pop it in here at the back of it. Looks a little bit like that and from there, just press it back on and you're done. Hey, Leanne! I have finished a whole row of these. Now I'm just gonna flip them around and put them in order. Simply just pop them in just the way they came out. Make sure you don't put them upside down. You can't put them upside down because the keys are just a cross here, the cherry keys. F1 and escape. And now I got a whole row of keys done and I have the rest of the keyboard. If you have a wife, everything becomes a lot easier. She's talking to you guys, but she doesn't know that the microphone is here. <laughs> Go away! You see? Go away! What are you doing exactly? Me? Yeah. I've already done four buttons. Whoa, you be careful. Can you let the worker sit down? Let the worker sit down? Yeah. No, this is all for the talent. Not the workforce. <laughs> Some keys are gonna have more slots. Just put them in all of them. Can we not put me in? I wasn't planning on putting you in. Yes, you was. Pro well, now I'm putting you oh, in. Like, is that a bug? It is, what the heck, ew. They were making love, I killed them off. You killed two bugs making love? Uh... After doing all this without anybody's help, <laughs> here's the keyboard, same condition, same microphone, just a few minutes later. It's not as loud, or is it? Spacebar can never be silenced. I don't know why, but spacebar, I noticed even in my recording, spacebar always gets picked off. Obviously, it's not gonna quiet it down to the point where you're not gonna hear the keyboard, but even a little bit of quietness does go a long way. If you're streaming, if you're recording, if you're talking, if you're playing in a room with somebody else, quieter, the better. And you still have the response of the Cherry MX switches. 
So this is what I do with every new keyboard that I get. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more reviews, let me know. I'm going to try to do some. I have a drone coming up soon. I have the Stream Deck and I have a few other things that I want to review if you guys are interested. If not, I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. What a stupid idea to do it outside.